So here we have a leaderboard with 100 scores. Our player is not that great at beating the high score and he is placed down at the 80th position. When we run our leaderboard demo, we can see only first 10 scores. Our player doesn't know their position and how they compare to other players. Fortunately, PlayFab has a way to show the scores around our player. In this quick tutorial, you'll learn how to use it and how to add it to the existing leaderboard. Let's go! So this is the scene we've created in the previous PlayFab tutorial videos. When we run it, the leaderboard pops up and we get the top 10 results. Let's change it to show the 10 scores around our player. In the PlayFab Manager script, we can find the existing methods that gets and shows the leaderboard. Below them, type public void get leaderboard around player. Open brackets. And here we need to start with the request. var request equals new get leaderboard around player request. Open brackets and specify two properties. First, statistic name equals the name of your leaderboard, in my case, platform score, and max results count equals the same as before, 10. Great, now let's call the API, playfab client API dot get leaderboard around player and pass in request on leaderboard around player get method we'll create in a second, and as always, on error we've created in previous episodes. Because there is no sense in writing the result method from the ground up, we'll just copy this whole on leaderboard get method and paste it here and change the name to on leaderboard around player get. Then do the same with the variable type by just adding around player in the middle. So, as a recap, this method firstly removes all existing rows in the scene, then for each received score instantiates a new row and replaces text values with the position, display name and the score itself. Ok, so save the script and in Unity you can see I've already prepared this green button that should trigger the newly created method. Select it, then on the onclick button event drag in the object where the PlayFab Manager is attached to, in my case this is a canvas. Then from the dropdown select PlayFab Manager that get leaderboard around player. That's it! Time to test out our game. Press play and after PlayFab logs in, click on our newly created green button. As you can see, now our leaderboard is not displaying top 10 results, but it puts the player in the middle of the table and fills out the rest of space with neighboring scores. You might notice that the number of scores above is greater than the scores below. That's because in the code we've requested 10 results right here. Max results count. If we'll change that to the odd number like 9, you can see our player is now perfectly placed in the middle. Now I'll show you a very simple way to make the logged in player score more discoverable. You might have seen it in other games where on the scoreboard your stats have different color, icon or a special graphical highlight. We'll do the exactly same thing by changing the color of the text in the player row. To find out which score on the leaderboard is owned by the current logged in player, we simply need to compare the player ID. Let's do that. At the very top of our PlayFab Manager script, we need to create a new variable, so type string logged in PlayFab ID. We'll store in it the PlayFab ID of the currently logged in player. To get that, in the onLoginSuccess method, type logged in PlayFab ID equals result dot PlayFab ID. We are using the fact that after successful login, PlayFab returns a lot of useful information like last login time, player stats and the most useful one in this case, the PlayFab ID of the logged in user. Finally, down in the on leaderboard around player get method, we need to create a simple if statement that will check if the currently spawned row contains the information about our player. Right here, type if item.playfab double equals 
logged in Playfab ID, open brackets, texts with the index of zero, that color equals color dot cyan. Here we are comparing if the Playfab ID of the current row matches the logged in Playfab ID. If so, then change the color of the first text, that means the position text, to cyan. I would also suggest you to copy this line two times and change indexes of those texts to color whole leaderboard row. Great! Time to test it out. Start our Unity game, get leaderboard around player, and here it is. Now our logged in player can find their score much quicker. So that's it. Thanks a lot to my awesome patrons that support this channel. Be sure to check out my other videos about PlayFab and Unity UI. See you soon.